continuing our discussion of reversing tools, we're now going to turn to something that is not a debugger. And that is a product called PE Browser. PE stands for Portable Executable, and it is a file format that is used by Windows. And PE Browser allows you to look at 64-bit and 32-bit executables and look at the different sections inside each of these executables. So each of these will have various parts and we will learn how you can overrun one part of an executable into another and you can cause some mischief by doing so. So how do you get PE Browser? You can do a search at Smidgen Soft and you will see they have their PE Browser Pro available for download. Go ahead and click on whichever executable you prefer, 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what version of Windows you want to support. This can be run from inside of Linux using Wine. So how do you do that? Download it. You get a zip file. By now, you probably realize you need to extract that zip file to that Wine C drive directory and install it. I've already done so on my machine. And so here it's installed under Program Files x86, Smidgen Soft, PE Browse Pro. If I do a listing, I will see my executable. Simply run Wine and then the name of the executable. And you should be all set. I can open a file, the browser itself and it will parse through that file and it will show me the different sections. There's a DOS header, file header, and then there's some optional headers and I can go into these different sections. Then there are sections in my file and I can browse through and get information on all of these. So that's PE Browser. The last tool I wanted to discuss is called NASM. NASM is an assembler. So what's an assembler do? Computers speak machine code. That is, they have very simple instructions where they're given a code and the code might say, add two to this register or add five to this memory location, store the results somewhere else. That is done in machine code. And one step above that is what we call assembly. We'll learn a little bit of assembly as we go throughout this course. So how do I go from having assembly code to having an actual program, an executable? I need something called an assembler. I can get NASM for virtually every platform out there, and it supports lots of formats. So kind of like GDB and a lot of the tools that are primarily intended for Linux, it's very flexible and very powerful. If you're running a Linux system, you probably already have NASM. If you don't, you can install it using your package tool. Notice here I typed and it didn't say I didn't have it installed. It just said I didn't give it any files. So here's the help screen for NASM. If I wanted to install it, it's just sudo apt get install NASM, enter password, and it's going to tell me that I already have it installed. It's telling me a few other things, but those are not relevant at the moment. So that's NASM. If you're running Windows, again, I don't recommend that you reverse from Windows, but if you insist on doing so, if you go to nasm.us, you will find that you can download NASM for various platforms. So you can go to the latest and you notice that they have DOS, Linux, Mac OS, Win32. So you have various choices. 